Hello my friends, welcome back to my channel, Diamonds and Washi. My name is Katie, and if you are new here, hey, welcome. I hope you'll consider subscribing for lots more diamond painting content. And if you are back, welcome back. Today I am here because it is the most wonderful time of the year. It is Christmas slash winter slash holiday release week at Diamond Art Club. And so Diamond Art Club sent me over a couple of sneak peeks to share with you guys this week. You might've seen my Christmas card sneak peek a couple of days ago. I have this one for you today and I have a really special one for you guys tomorrow as well. But all of their Christmas releases of which there are, I think if they said 25 plus, <laughs> so at least 25 Christmas slash winter and holiday releases are gonna be coming out on, uh, let's see, it's gonna be Saturday, October 28th at 9.30 a.m. Pacific time, 12.30 p.m. Eastern time. If you are in the Diamond or Ruby tier of the rewards program, you are actually gonna get an early access window. You'll get a, um, not a call, <laughs> that's not a thing, an email or a text about half an hour to 45 minutes before the general release time with an access link for you to do your shopping early. Now Diamond Art Club always holds back stock for the general release. So if something does sell out during the early release time, be sure to check back at the general release. So anyway, my sneak peek to share with you guys today is this very festive Christmas shells. And I live in Southern California. This just felt completely appropriate because we don't get snow. Christmas and winter do not like look like snow out here whatsoever. But this whole vibe of seashells making a Christmas tree is too cute. I love it. So this is by the artist Larry Jones. I'm actually not positive if we've had kits from this artist before. I'll have to go and take a look. Um, but this one's going to have square shaped diamonds. The size is 25.6 by 33.9 inches or 65 by 86 centimeters. It's going to be a pretty good size, you guys. Now on the box itself, there's some blue branding that Diamond Art Club uses with their kits that come with square shaped diamonds. And on the back, there's some info about how to diamond paint, kind of explaining the how to's, then your kit contents are here. And then there is a QR code on this side that will, uh, you can scan for 10% off of your purchase. Now, if you're brand new to Diamond Art Club and you're thinking of making your very first purchase, I actually, I do have a 20% off discount code you are welcome to use. It is just my name, uh, Katie, K-A-T-I-E, and the number 20. And like I said, that's 20% off your very first purchase. Please don't feel obligated to use it whatsoever. You're gonna see a few different discount codes in this video. I just suggest you take advantage of one of them. And um, thank you in advance though, if you do happen to use it. So that any commission I make always goes straight back into my channel and creating content for you guys. So let's pull out our kit contents here. This is kind of a hefty canvas, so let's see. All right. So first, I'd like to take a look with you at our toolkit, which is gonna have everything you need to do your diamond painting. And, all right. So right off the bat, you guys, I love it. We're gonna get a pen and squishy. The color is gonna vary, but I am tickled that we have a very festive green <laughs> pen and squishy here. And you're also gonna get some thin plastic multi-placers, a four and a seven placer that you can actually pop in the end of your pen. So I've got tweezers in that hand too. Um, you can pop it at the end of your pen and try your hand at placing more than one diamond at a time if you like. And then you are gonna get a pair of tweezers which are sharp on the end. So you're gonna wanna make sure that you keep that cover on. We have a bag of baggies so you can store your leftover diamonds in. And we have some pink wax that comes in this little caddy. And I always wanna point out, you guys, there is a thin plastic film on here. You wanna make sure that you peel off before you try to load up your pen. Otherwise, it's not, it's not gonna work. <laughs> so we do have that. Of course, we also have a tray. And this bit in the end, you guys, actually is a removable tray stopper you can pop in there to help stop the diamonds from sliding out. We're also going to get a cover minder, which, ooh, that's cute. I haven't seen this one before. There's magnets on the back, and uh, you can use this to hold back the plastic cover in the area that you're working on. Oh, that popped right off, you guys. This happens sometimes. This is actually a really good demo. Uh, Diamond Art Club has actually announced that they are going to be discontinuing cover minders at some point in the future, in the near future. Not yet, but at some point, uh, because they have been having some issues with this and complaints. But I do want to let you know that uh, for what it's worth, this is actually a very easy fix. You can use just regular old super glue. I am partial to using E6000 glue. I do that when I make some of my own cover minders. So you can just do a dab of that there and press it there, and that's going to stick pretty darn well. So you know what? There's a little a learning moment for you in case you've had cover minders that have done this, whether from Diamond Art Club or another shop. 
Uh, and then you're gonna get a roll of washi tape. The print is gonna vary on this. And I have a whole video dedicated to how, why, when, all the ways that I use washi tape when it comes to diamond painting. So that video is gonna be linked down in the description box below along with some other helpful links. So uh, feel free to take a look. You're also gonna get with your kit a smaller sticker sheet that has the original artwork and the title and some stats. And I like using this in my paper logbook once I start working on a kit because then I have the artwork there in my logbook. You can also use this on the side of your box to help organize your stash or find something else crafty to do with it, whatever you like. <laughs> the world is your oyster. The sticker is your oyster. Oysters, ocean. <laughs> I guess I'm feeling a little silly today. <laughs> Let's take a look at this canvas and everything else in here. Uh, so the canvas material is pretty soft. It looks like this is gonna be the bottom here. Yeah, oh my gosh, yeah, this is a, this is a big canvas, you guys. All right, don't worry. Uh, in just a bit, I'm gonna make sure I put up a picture on the screen so you can see the entire thing in frame and right side up. <clears throat> it's, wow, really, really beautifully festive. <laughs> so I wanna be able to show that to you. Actually, you guys, go ahead and take a look at the screen right now. I'll put a picture up on there of the whole canvas in frame so you can see it all in its festive gorgeousness. So uh, we do have a bag of diamonds here, which, ooh, spoiler alert, we're gonna have two big bags of white ABs in there. We'll take a look at those along with all the other colors. Oh my gosh, gosh, is that not just like the epitome of beach Christmas, that color scheme? I love that. We're gonna look at these more closely in just a bit, so stay tuned on that one for, for me, you guys. Um, you're also gonna have tucked in here, there's a pamphlet with some helpful info in it, including here's what's included in your kit, a beginner video. I also have a beginner video that'll be linked below in the description. Uh, the VIP Facebook group is a handy resource once you've made your first purchase. Uh, some step-by-step -step instructions that are written out for you, if you're not a video person along with some tips and tricks and yet another discount code and then here's info about the mobile app you get 20 percent off your first purchase through the app as well so like i said lots of discount codes out there just be sure to take advantage now here we have a larger sticker sheet there's the title and the artist's name a spot to write your certain end date and here you guys go here is a nice big and detailed look at this beautiful artwork i love it i kind of love some of the muted tones going on in here and then we've got stats down here and then on this side is a set of these are actually pre-cut sticker labels so if you're going to take your diamonds and put them into storage containers or baggies these labels come in handy because then you can just be looking at the symbol on the canvas and when you go to look for the color that you need to place there you can just look for the actual symbol sticker on you know the storage container or baggie that you're using now the color code system you see here this is the this comes from the dmc color code system which most diamond painting companies do use with diamond art club's numbering system though Anything under the number 150 is gonna be a special kind of diamond called an AB. So we're gonna have three AB colors in this kit. And then if you look at the very end, sometimes you will see at the end of the color list, some colors that have a letter at the beginning. And these, so we have two, two of these colors that have the letter Z, and that's gonna be a special kind of diamond called a fairy dust color. I'm gonna tell you all about those special diamonds when we're actually looking at the diamonds in just a little bit. But first, I would like to take a closer look at the canvas with you guys. And I always mention this because again, there are often new new diamond painters or you just might not know, but if your canvas is wanting to curl in on itself like this that is really common now diamond art clips canvases do have a self flattening feature and it will lay flat on its own over time alternatively you can roll it back the opposite direction and you can even do that like the whole canvas and that will help it lay flat faster <laughs> so whatever you'd like to do you have the option um, here we have their branding at the top do it makes you sparkle diamond art club the edge of the canvas is scalloped and has some pokes and finishing in it so you shouldn't have to worry about any fraying and the back is really soft and the weight of the material of the canvas is it's it's really sturdy it's like got a thickness to it but it's also really malleable to me it's kind of the best of both worlds in that way you're gonna have a color list or a legend over here on the top left which by the way this kit is gonna have 63 colors in total that's a really nice number of colors we have the same color list over here on the bottom right and at the bottom left, we have a thumbnail of the original artwork, this title, and some stats. And then 
copyright. So copyright Larry Jones, Creative Connection Incorporated, and Diamond Art Club. This is really important, you guys, because uh, this is a really key way that we know that this piece is legally licensed. Now, what this means is that the artist, potentially through if this is like a licensing house or something like that, uh, has given permission for the use of their artwork. Uh, so Diamond Art Club, and they're also being compensated for it as well. And art theft is really common in the crafting world. So I'm all about supporting companies like Diamond Art Club that are doing right by artists. Now in the middle on the bottom here, we have links to their socials and another discount code. And here at the bottom right is info about their lifetime warranty. Now, as long as you are the original owner and purchaser of your kit, you're covered under the lifetime warranty, which includes if you, have, if you happen to run out of a drill color or have any trouble with the glue or the canvas, anything at all, contact customer support and they will get you taken care of. The printing of the symbols on the canvas is very clear. And this definitely is looking like a canvas that's going to have more in the way of what we call confetti. Confetti is when we have lots of color changes in a small area like you're seeing in here. Um, and that tends to take a little bit longer because you might be doing some more single placing and changing out the color in your tray a little bit more often. But I want to say we will have some areas with a little bit more of what we might consider. Here we go. Uh, color blocking. Here's kind of a really minor example of that. This is all the same symbol in this area here. It's, it's a little bit of color blocking. So you'll have that color in your tray for longer and can use your multi-placer. Now, the nice thing is with confetti, you often do get a nice level of detail, especially with Diamond Art Club, where their rendering style is really crisp and clean. Um, it's hand charted, which means a person has really taken a close look at the original artwork and translated it into diamond painting form. And I do like a nice mix of both in my paintings. Here we do have a little bit more of like kind of color blocking up here in the top right where the, the waves, the surface kind of breaking on the beach. Um, but yeah, this is definitely looking like it's going to be a little bit more heavy in the way of that confetti. So do keep that in mind. Not totally shocking given that this kind of is a landscape vibe kit. Uh, and so landscapes and that sort of when we're working with greenery and nature, uh, that's usually going to have more confetti because there's a lot more detail that needs to, to come through. Now I am going to do a measurement just to see where we're at and trying to keep this flat as well. So we're at almost 86 centimeters and we're listed as 86. And then this way we are at uh, 65 on the nose, which is what we're listed as. So I'm going to call that true to size, even though it's maybe a little bit short on the other end. Um, I give companies a centimeter or two of wiggle room uh, just because, you know, <laughs> it's it doesn't have to be exactly exact for me to consider it true to size. So anyway, let's take a look at these diamonds. There is the name of the kit here on the side on a sticker. So you know which one these go with. Let's take a look. All right. So again, truly just like a beachy Christmas color spread here. <laughs> Lots of gorgeous beiges and tans going on in here. So we have the DMC code printed on here. That is so funny that not only is there a straggler in here that's the wrong color, it's also the wrong drill shape. <laughs> it happens, 437. Uh, 141, you guys, this is the one I was showing you when we were looking at these at the beginning. Uh, this is our first AB color. Now, AB stands for Aurora Borealis, and these diamonds get their name from the Northern Lights because if you look, they have a really amazing, super sparkly and iridescent coating on the top that's kind of color shifting a little bit. These diamonds are going to stand out in the areas that they are placed on the canvas. They're going to draw your eye to those areas and highlight them. This white AB, this 141, is one of Diamond Art Club most frequently used ones and it really looks great <laughs> it really looks great so I am going to take some time and show you after we've looked at all our diamond colors I am going to definitely take a look at the canvas with you guys and point out where you're going to find these special drill colors here is our first fairy dust color now let me here I'm going to zoom you in that will make it a little easier for you to see you guys these diamonds have a nice little fine glitter coating on the top. Oh, kind of like my nails, actually, a little bit. Uh, that was not intentional, but I'm not gonna, I'm not mad. Uh, so there is a, yeah, there's a fine glitter coating brushed on the top. And the effect of these is a little bit more, 
a little bit more shimmery. It's less in, it's less bold and striking than the ABs, but it's a subtle shimmer. And honestly, fairy dust colors are my favorite. I love the effect so much. They're absolutely gorgeous. So that's our first one. It's kind of a lime green. Love these rich greens. And then we have four bags of 436 and four bags of 435. I'm sure that's the beach, the sand. We do have a bag of 310, which is black. I'm kind of taking a look to see how the diamonds look. Are they looking consistent in size and shape? Are they looking clean cut? I am seeing a little bit in the way of some kind of rough cut ones here and there be honest with you um, that's something that I have talked to them about um, I know they're aware of but if you guys if you're running into any issues like quality issues with your diamonds please let their customer support know it lets them know how widespread an issue is and what kits it's affected so even if you think it's a minor thing um, they want to know for sure so we have lots of shades of beige again not shocking. Here's our gorgeous Christmassy reds. I love that minty color. Look at that. Christmas. Green and red. I love it. Oh, well, here we go, you guys. Here's our next AB color. 110. This is a cherry red that has a hint of an orange, an orange tint to it. Just a little bit. So... We just have a smaller bag of that AB. And then, oh, those pinks. Probably, yeah, we have some pink seashells on the on the canvas. And then, oh, here's this last strand where these are the smaller amounts. Oh, 133. Three. Here's our third and last AB. It's a tangerine orange. This actually is one I feel like you see pretty often, too. And we should have, oh, yep, here it is. We do have our second and final fairy dust color, Z778. I don't even have to zoom you guys in. Do you see the sparkle and the glitter brushed on there? I love how that pops. Ooh, pink is like my favorite color. So uh, this is the first time seeing this pale pink fairy dust color. I love that. All right. Uh, so Diamond Art Club, by the way, with these strands, puts their diamonds roughly in order of weight, not DMC order or anything like that. Just FYI. It's not always perfectly in order of weight, but generally speaking, as you see, we're getting here to the tail end, the colors we have the least of. So let's, let's take a look at this canvas and see where we're going to find those special drill colors. So we have those two giant bags of white ABs. And so you're going to see me point that out a lot first off you guys um oh no i'm mistaken i thought that maybe the white dots down here in this bottom right corner were going to be ab's they are not however the white dots sprinkled on this shell are going to be ab's and then i see lines of the uh the cherry red are is doing some highlighting on this seashell as well as oh nope no fairy dust in that one okay I wanted to double check. There's a sprinkling of white ABs on this shell over here and uh, through here as well as doing a little bit of highlighting on the top of this shell. There's lines of white and chunks of white in this shell that are going to be white ABs. And okay, some white ABs sprinkled through this shell. Oh, that's where, okay, okay, let me back up. Okay, so the lightest green, yeah, you're seeing in camera, it's really obvious, the lime green on this seaweed or kelp, in actually in all of our seaweed and kelp, that br this bright green you're seeing, that is our lime green fairy dust color. So that's gonna give a little bit of shimmer to that seaweed or kelp. I don't know technically what it is. <laughs> Just because I live in California doesn't mean I have endless beach knowledge. <laughs> uh, the lightest color here on the waves, this is a big chunk here of the white AB, and that's going to be all throughout the waves as we go up to the top. I'll point it out as we go, though, uh, as well. Um, there are, okay, I haven't seen the orange AB yet, and I'm just making sure that I'm not overlooking it. Or the pink fairy dust. So those are two I'm worried about missing because there weren't a ton of them. 
Um, not yet. Okay, there's a sprinkling of the white ABs on this shell. And there's a line of the white ABs right here. Okay, here is the pink fairy dust. It's it's one of these, oh, we're a little bit of glare. My, my bad, okay. So it's, one, it's not the, in camera, it's one of these really light pinks you're seeing is the fairy dust color. And there's lots of it in this particular shell, so that's gonna be gorgeous. And then as we're moving up, you guys, again, I'm gonna point out over here, kind of in the surf, there's this white color, this lightest white color in camera. That's all white ABs. That's why we needed those two big bags of white ABs. Uh, and then we hop over here. I found the orange AB color is the brightest reddish orange you're seeing in this shell. There's actually some of the pink fairy dust on this part of the shell. So that's really gonna be pretty. That's a special shell, it has two special drill colors. Um, this shell has some of the cherry red AB in it. And then again, there's sprinklings of the white ABs here. Some of the white you're seeing dotted over here is white AB. And just a reminder, we do have the lime green fairy dust are the lightest, that bright, bright light green you're seeing in the seaweed and kelp. And then I see the orange AB highlighting in this shell, the white along the edge, and then in the starfish, at the top of our beachy Christmas tree, we have a bunch of the orange AB highlighting throughout the star. And then again, if you're looking up here, any of this white, these big patches of white, that's gonna be a white AB. And we also have some white AB up here on these rocks. And it's sprinkled kind of in here and along here, a couple dotted in this shell up here. So I love the effect of that. I think the white AB in particular is my favorite. The fact that it's gonna be in the waves, I think is gonna give it a really, really pretty effect and make it more, look even more like water. And especially that white AB coating, which is really kind of rainbowy, I think is gonna be just perfect <laughs> for that. I think it's gonna be really, really a gorgeous effect. And I'm not just saying that, I, I actually, I really, really love that. Um, and then the, a the ABs and fairy dust drills throughout, especially the fairy dust and the seaweed and kelp, I think they're gonna, this, that's just gonna make this painting really, really, really beautiful. So again, you guys, this was Christmas Shells by Larry Jones. And I think this is such a nice alternative to some of the traditional wintry Christmas pieces that are out there. If you're like me, like I said, we live in, uh, I live in Southern California and winter here, we don't get snow, we don't get cold weather. Uh, this is just a really fun take on the idea of Christmas <laughs> and what that can look like. And so maybe this is right up your alley in that sense as well, or maybe you you just are dreaming of a beachy Christmas and warm weather and that's why this one's gonna be calling your name too but I would love to hear from you in the comments what do you think of this one um, I think it looks really beautiful and while landscapes are not typically artwork that I gravitate towards this still looks really gorgeous and I think looks like it's been stunningly rendered and would you know, be a fun thing to work on if I really wanted to mix it up at some point. So uh, I'm gonna just really quick to recap, this along with the other Christmas and holiday and winter releases are gonna be coming out to, on, sorry, this video is going up on Thursday. The release is on Saturday, uh, October 28th at 9.30 a.m. Pacific, 12.30 p.m. Eastern. And of course, a reminder that Ruby and Diamond tier members, you do get that half an hour to 45 minute early access window. Just keep an eye on your email and or text messages. So you guys be sure that you're keeping an eye out for other sneak peeks on these amazing releases from my fellow fabulous content creators. And thanks again to Diamond Art Club for sending this over. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to subscribe if you wanna stay up to date with my diamond painting content and check back tomorrow for a really incredibly epic sneak peek that I cannot wait to share with you guys as well for this weekend. So anyway, Thanks again for watching. I hope you have a day that is as amazing as you are and I'll chat with you in the next one. Bye.